Aloha, namaskar and hello. This is 5 at 5, that is 5 minutes at 5 o'clock. Anu Hitol reporting from Marrakesh, Morocco, where we are having the COP22, COP Vendu of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So this is the last day of a two-week conference, a summit where leaders have gathered together and civil society to figure out the next steps to implement the Paris Agreement. Today has been a really quiet day around here, mainly because they've been trying to pull together all the informal working groups and getting some of the, uh, the nitty-gritty down for what, uh, what, what the path will look like going forward. So really not a whole lot has been happening. Um, some press conferences here and there and somewhat of a low energy here in the blue zone. That made me go over to what's called the green zone where civil society and uh, things were open to the public, where all of those things were and mostly where businesses were. And that really had me going. There was, there was great energy. It was buzzing with all kinds of innovations. And uh, that's really where um, I think uh, things are going. So this was interesting. The blue zone is where the policy work goes on, where the actual nitty gritty of the Paris Agreement and the UN Framework Convention, the language and all of those things are developed and some of the researchers and so on, uh, where civil society uh, works with some of these ministers. But the green zone is which is something that's open to the public. So there were a lot of Moroccan families, uh, kids of all ages, students, young people, businessmen, businesswomen, and it was really great to see. So there's a lot going on in Morocco with wind and solar energy, some beautiful solar energy installations and some dreams for wonderful green cities. Apparently the king of Morocco is, is really big into sustainability and is really trying to showcase some of Morocco's uh, uh, vision that he has. And I saw some uh, wonderful uh, plans for a city they're, they're creating, a green city, starting next year. It's going to take five to seven years to construct, so keep your eyes on that one. So really the, the takeaway here, uh, I feel, is a closing, a closing with a note of hope, even though the elections and, and the outcome in the United States made us all feel quite scared of what might happen to the UN Framework Convention. Countries have really stayed the course. They've really said that they are ready to commit. Germany has just committed an additional uh, uh, amount of money for the adaptation fund, 50 million euros, and China and all of these countries are really going forward. So with or without the United States government, this is going to happen. It is already in the fabric of, of life as such uh, in, in in civil society, in business, and especially there in business. So I think this is just going to go ahead. And um, I would say the main message uh, from the COP is that uh, one country will not stop this progress. So them's fighting words. We'll see what happens. This is Anu Hittel reporting for the last time from Morocco, Marrakesh COP22. Aloha, namaskar, and goodbye.